Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to show you how to use buttons and headers. So to get started here real quick, we are just going to create a new project. I'm going to call this one Buttons in Headers. I'm going to use a blank project type for this. And then right off the bat, as always, I'm going to start making this app uh, look a little bit how I want it to. So the first thing I'm going to start to do here is we're going to change the header color of our page by clicking theming up in the top right and changing the background color to positive. And as always, if you want to change positive to a different color or any of these different themes to a different color, you can manage that in theme colors as well. But for now, I like this blue color, so we're just going to save that and leave. Now, buttons and headers are actually managed from the page. So you have to select the page in the controller here. And we are going to have our left header button and our right header button show up in the page properties. So first, let's make a nice looking icon button. So we're going to enable this. And we are going to pick an icon. For this one, let's do a minus symbol. Okay, so that is a nice, large icon style button. Okay, and for the right hand side, let's do text. So let's enable the right header button and call that edit. And yet again, we've got a nice large section of text here that looks like uh, it's taking up a majority of the header space for this edit button. Now there are two different types of styles of button and headers as well. So this is kind of the full style. If you wanted to style something more as a button, you can turn on style as button and you're going to see one change right off the bat is that the icon over here got a lot smaller and that's because there's actually a button around it. So if we hit preview here, we can see that the click target, the whole square turns dark behind it. That's the area of this button. Now, if I wanted to, for instance, change the color of the button, we could change that to one of our themes, so we could change it to balance, which makes that button a lot more visible by default. You can do the same thing with text style buttons. You could style that as a button, it gets a lot smaller, we could change it to balanced, and then have it appear as an actual button. Now, the other quick thing I wanna show you guys is, uh, let's see here, if we're taking this, no theme, we have an icon, you can also have text combined with that. So you could have a double icon and text button if you really wanted to. So that's overall how you kind of set up these buttons, but let's actually go and add some functionality to them. Now you can add any kind of functionality you'd like with our Angular directives. And just for lack of something better for this demo, we're gonna show an alert. So I'm gonna bring up our code here and we're gonna do scope.alert equals function, alert testing, save that just to give us a function to work with here. And then we are gonna add an Angular directive to our page. So we're gonna click add, and we are gonna do ng-click, alert is a function. Now right now, nothing's gonna happen if I do this, okay? Because this directive isn't actually assigned to the button. So a cool feature about our directives is if you click this little icon right here, you can actually get a full HTML view. So as we can see, this directive actually got put on the whole page. We don't want it the whole page, we only want it on our left button. So we can move it to our ion nav button side equals left to this inner button. So that's the actual button here, save and close. And now when we click this button, we're going to wind up getting an alert. There you go, we got an alert. So overall, we can customize our buttons. They can be icon text, we can style them as button or have them be that more fully featured, uh, full height rather. Uh, style, and then you can add any kind of functionality you'd like to those using our Angular Directives property. So that's buttons and headers. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. But overall, it's pretty simple and easy to use now. So uh, have a good one. I'll catch you guys next time.